rebirth. There is not only a spiritual rebirth, but there is in the physical. You see the baptism. It shows us that. It shows us how we are reborn into this world. How our children are able to change and take the sin that has been in our lives and create blessings that go from generation to generation. It says that the blessings that we build go forth for a thousand generations. But if we start to look towards that, what we also end up seeing is that the sins are carried on for our children, for our grandchildren. But imagine how that is. They end up seeing those sins in their life. But if I want to look towards a blessing, imagine if you're from the tribe of Levi, the tribe of Aaron, the tribe of Jacob, Ula. You can go all the way back to Israel, Amen. And to have that and to have that descent, a thousand generations later, you are still boasting and proud because you are related to Israel, to Abraham. All of us are connected to God. If I'm to boast, let me boast in the Lord. I am His. He is the who, the what, the when, the where, the why of my existence. And it is the blessing. Asher Aish. Who are you? Achaye, Asher Achaye. He says to Moses, I am the blessing. The idea is to create that change. You have an opportunity to create anything in your life. Blessings. If you wish, sin. But why would you choose sin and hatred when you can have love, adoration, peace, prosperity? God gives you certain qualities. Patience, perseverance, tenacity. And to what end? To overcome sin. To overcome hatred. And to build from the divine spirit to create wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, study, and apprehension to take it a step further. Loving kindness and adoration to understand the complexity, severity of the judgment in this world, and also the divine grace and pardon, the sacrifice of Christ, and how much it means to receive him. The beauty, the glory, glorification when we receive sanctification and purification of the heart it leads us into the glorification we actually see a more brighter and more beautiful world because we call into the name of the Lord we receive that glory David calls it that is the kingdom the glory the power forever and ever amen that's the kibola the power the strength of God Elohim, you are a hero, a mighty one of God. To select Moses, David, were called. God spoke to them. They had a heart after God. When we use the word of God, when we pray, when we accept Jesus into our life, and we create a personal relationship with the Messiah, we also have that calling. He creates divine emanation a direct conscientious contact with our Creator and our Savior. And it gives us the divine wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to receive the crown as joint heirs within the kingdom of Christ. The meaning of Mashiach, of Messiah, is the anointing. When we take in the affirmation of faith and we give our lives to Christ, we're receiving a crown, an eternal crown crown of Christ Jesus. I want you to receive that in every one of the blessings. His wisdom, his knowledge, his understanding, his glory, his strength. Build that foundation of the kingdom of heaven. 